Step three starts the import process, so make sure Jewel is open and ready to go. On the Jewel homepage, select Start New Offering. In the box that appears, ignore the Offering Date and Offering Total boxes and select Import Offering. When the new box appears, click on Import from a File. The first time you do this, you will have to find the Adventist Giving folder. From that point on, Jewel will automatically open it. So in the box that opens up, find and click on Desktop, then find and click on the Adventist Giving folder. The folder will contain at least one deposit transfer report. More if you have saved more than one. Choose the report you wish to import, then click on Open. Several seconds may pass before anything happens, but just be patient. A new screen will appear. And this screen is where Jewel and Adventist Giving meet to trade information. All Adventist Giving accounts on the left side need to be mapped or matched with Jewel accounts on the right side. Adventist Giving donor names on the left need to be mapped or matched with Jewel donor names on the right side. I've covered up all the donor names for privacy. Yours will look different. Unmapped names and unmapped accounts will be on the left side lettered in red and the right side will be blank until they're mapped. If this is the first time your church has imported, there will be lots of red accounts and names. But once each account and donor name has been mapped, Jewel will remember that name or account from then on. After a few imports, the need to map new names or accounts will be minimal. So let's map some accounts, and we will in the next video.